I come to you a humbled man, offering an apology to his president. I know that my behavior obstructed the Thorn murder investigation, and that was never my intent. Yet that was the effect. I cared very deeply about Charlotte Thorne, and I wanted to be a part of the investigation to get her justice. And you wanted to keep your affair secret? Yes, that too. She was the first woman I'd opened up to in the four years since Elaine died. And part of me felt I was being disloyal, like I was dishonoring her memory. I get why you wouldn't want it to go public. No. It's the same reason why I pulled away when Charlotte told me she wanted something more serious. I understand. The problem is I didn't. I didn't understand just how much I cared about her. So when she told me it was over, I went home and I started spiraling. And you slept. Two years clean, one night to fall off the wagon. Next morning, I checked myself into Ravenwood because I could not allow myself to go down that path again. And you didn't think you could trust me with that? No, Tom, I didn't. I felt ashamed. So I am saving you the trouble, sir. Because when I was president, you know what I'd call someone who acted the way I have? A cab. You've made a mistake, Cornelius. I value our friendship. And I still need your counsel, your humanity, and I think the American people do too, but... If we were somehow to move forward as friends, I would need you to give me your word. You would never leave me on the outside again. You have it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Do what you have to, but as soon as you're ready, come back. Your office will be waiting. Thank you, sir. Let me walk you out. <laughs> 